Hi, Heart Room friends. It's Teacher Michelle here. Um, we're going to read the BFG today by Raul Dahl, and um, we're on page 41. Here we go. Would you teach me how to make an elephant, BFG asked. What do you mean, Sophie said. I would love dearly to have an elephant to ride on, the BFG said dreamily. I would so much love to have a jumbly big elephant to go riding through green forests, picking peachy fruits off the trees all day long. This is a sizzling, hot, muck frumping country we is living in. Nothing grows in it except snozcumbers. I would love to go somewhere else and pick peachy fruits in the early morning from the back of an elephant. Sophie was quite moved by this curious statement. Perhaps one day we will get to an elephant, she said, and peachy fruits as well. Now tell me what you were doing in our village. If you is really wanting to know what I am doing in your village, the BFG said, I is blowing a dream into the bedroom of those children. Blowing a dream, Sophie said, what do you mean? I is blowing, a, I is a dream blowing giant, the BFG said, when all the other giants is galloping off every that way and which to wallop human beings, I is scuttling away to other places to blow dreams into the bedrooms of sleeping children. Nice dreams, lovely golden dreams, dreams that is giving the dreamers a happy time. Now hang on a minute, Sophie said. Where do you get those dreams? I collect them, the BFG said, waving an arm towards all of the rows and rows of bottles on shelves. I has billions of them. You can't collect a dream, Sophie said. A dream isn't something you can catch a hold of. You is never going to understand about it, the BFG said. That is why I is not wishing to tell you. Oh, please tell me, Sophie said. I will understand. Go on. Tell me how you collect dreams. Tell me everything. The BFG settled himself comfortably in his chair and crossed his legs. Dreams, he said, is very mysterious things. He is floating around in the air like little wispy misty bubbles. And all the time he is searching for sleeping people. Can you see them? Sophie asked. Never at first. And how do you catch them if you can't see them? Sophie asked. Aha, said the BFG. Now he's getting onto the dark and dusky secrets. I won't tell a soul. I is trusting you, the BFG said. He closed his eyes and sat quite still for a moment while Sophie waited. The dream, he said, as it goes whiffling through the night air, is making a tiny little buzzing humming noise. But this little buzzy hum is so silvery soft it is impossible for a human being to be hearing it. Can you hear it, Sophie asked? The BFG pointed up at his enormous truck wheel ears, which he now began to move in and out. He performed this exercise proudly with a little smile on his face. Is you seeing these, he asked. You have to see his ears. Look at how amazing. Can you see the BFG's ears? Look how big his ears are. How could I miss them, Sophie said. It may be looking a bit preposterous to you, the BFG said. But you must believe me when I say they is very extra usual ears indeed. He is not to be coughed at. Well, I'm quite sure they're not, Sophie said. He is allowing me to hear absolutely every single twiddly little thing. You mean you can hear things I can't hear, Sophie said? You is deaf as a dumpling compared with me, cried the BFG. You is hearing only thumping, loud noises with those little earwigs of yours. But I am hearing all the secrets and whisperings of the world. Such as what, Sophie asked. In your country, he said, I is hearing the footsteps of a ladybird as she goes walking across a leaf. Honestly, Sophie said, beginning to be impressed. What's more, I is hearing those footsteps very loud, the BFG said. When a ladybird is walking across a leaf, I is hearing her feet going clumpy, clumpy, clump, like giant's footsteps. Good gracious me, Sophie said. What else can you hear? I is hearing the little ants chittering to each other as they scuttle around in the soil. You mean you can hear ants talking? Every single word, the BFG said although I is not exactly understanding their language. Go on, Sophie said. Sometimes on a very clear night, the BFG said, and if I is swiggling my ears in the right direction, he, and here he swiveled his great ears upwards so they were facing the ceiling, if I is swiggling them like this, and the night is very clear, I is sometimes hearing faraway music coming from the stars in the sky. A queer little shiver passed through Sophie's body. She sat very quiet, waiting for more. My ears is what told me you was watching me out of your window last night, the BFG said. But I didn't make a sound, Sophie said. I was hearing your heart beating across the road, the BFG said, loud as a drum. Go on, Sophie said, please. I can hear plants and trees. Do they talk, Sophie asked. 
Thea is not exactly talking, the BFG said. Thea is making noises. For instance, if I come along and I is picking a lovely flower, if I is twisting the stem of the flower till it breaks, then the plant is screaming. I can hear it screaming and screaming very clear. You don't mean it, Sophie cried. How awful! It is screaming just like you would be screaming if someone was twisting your arm right off. Is that really true, Sophie asked? You think I is whiz wiggling you? It is rather hard to believe. We should stop there. Thanks for joining me, Heart Room friends, and I'll see you tomorrow for another portion of the BFG.